One of the biggest challenges that we face when we produce sun protective textiles without additional UV chemical finishes is the weight of the textile that you're using. Now it is true that if you coat a textile with chemical finishes, then you can take lighter weight textiles and actually provide them with sun protective qualities that may not have inherently been there. That is a challenge that seems a bit obvious, especially when you think about textiles that are more traditionally used in summer clothing. Say lighter weight cotton types of items, linen, chiffon, some of those really lightweight textiles that may not have that same ability based on the weight of the textile to really give you good coverage from the sun. However, with the cataloging of all these textiles, what I found were different compositions did make it possible to still have the same weight of the textile without having to compromise the UV protection that it offers and without having to add that chemical finish to the final product. So we're going to go through this process so that you can see based on just getting, say, a white t-shirt, standard white t-shirt you get from any store, what that could actually mean for your clothing. So if we take our Dynascope and actually magnify in, you can actually see what this textile looks like underneath the magnification. So if we take a standard white t-shirt and actually look through it to see what kind of information you can gather, basically, if when you look at the standard label, it'll only disclose certain types of information. Basically, you get the size, you get where it was made, you get the composition, this one being 60% cotton, 40% polyester, and you get the care instructions. That's about as much information as this type of product will offer. So if you take a look at the scan, you can see what this test actually records. After one scan, this test showed that the UPF of this t-shirt was a 41.98, a UPF rating of 42, and the UV blocking mean was about 97.3%. If you look a little further down, the UVA percentage that was transmitted through the textile was 2.98%, and UVB 2.02%. And if you look below that, you can see the test protocol used. Now, if you look across here, I find these really interesting because you're you can see the transmittance of light through this textile. You can see on the bottom the wavelengths of light tested. Now the wavelengths for UV light generally are up to about 400. Beyond 400 is the visible light range. So you can see how much UV was transmitted through based on the wavelength of light. However, take a look beyond the UV spectrum. When you get beyond this, you can actually see that visible light is transmitted through this garment. This is actually even in the spectrum of blue light, for example, which means that blue light does make it through this clothing item in particular. So no, you can't just hold your clothing up to the light to see if it blocks UV. UV is invisible, you can't see that. Visible light will still shine through and this is not a good marker for whether or not your clothing is blocking against UV light.